Los Angeles. I've lived here for two years and I still feel like I know nothing about the city. My name is Michael Clapp and I am a stranger to my city. So, Marisol. Yeah. Naturally, I wanted you to be my first guest because you've lived in the city your whole life, right? My whole life, yeah. People tell me I'm a unicorn because of I'm like, what, what? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, because people just move here so often? Yeah, and go into the film uh, industry and all that stuff. So why, and it's, forgive my pronunciation here, but it's Plaza de la Raza? Yeah, right? Plaza so de la Raza. Why is Plaza de la Raza? <laughs> why is Plaza de la Raza important to you? It, it goes way back, so. I started, since I was a kid, I was like seven years old, mm -hmm. I told my mom I wanted to uh, learn piano. Yeah. So Plaza de la Raza was great because it helped, uh, it helped, it did have like programs for like low income and like stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Great opportunities. There's like, so there's piano classes, there's like ceramic classes, there's like hip hop, like a ton of stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, so I tried piano, right? Uh -huh. Modern dancing was uh, the next one. Then I tried hip hop. So I was like, okay, I'm already in modern dancing. I know about dancing, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Moving freely. Like, I know what to do. I, don't. Do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, mom, I want to do hip hop next. Mom, you don't understand me, okay? <laughs> I want to do hip hop dance. That's cool. So you, I guess you kind of felt like uh, Plaza de la Raza yeah. was kind of like um, just like a safe place for you to learn and a safe, like a cool place to to hang out and to be. Um, in the city, right? Yeah, definitely. That's cool. It's it's like inside a park. Okay. So like every there's a lake that's there, oh. and then I remember uh, my dad would take me to go fishing. I don't know if there were fishes there, oh, yeah. but my dad would take me, and I so was like, yeah. Whoa, wait, wait, <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, so you went fishing, but you don't remember ever? I, I don't. Catching I don't remember a fish. catching a fish, never. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, yeah, I'm going fishing <laughs> with my dad. Like. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so not only is it, it's a performing arts center, kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so not only is it a performing arts center, but it's a uh, it's a big park then, too. So it's, yeah. like, really family-friendly. So would you recommend this place to go to for people who are visiting or to, for people Definitely, who want to come to the yes. city? Definitely, yes. And then it's since, uh, back in the day, it's been, in uh, like, improving. They've been adding, like, swing sets and, like, more family-friendly. Um, but, yes, I would definitely recommend it. Marisol, thank you so much for being here today and for coming and showing me Plaza de la, la Raza. <laughs> Show, was, wait, what? what? Show, uh, where uh, are we going? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. People are going to hate me in the comments. Can he not even <laughs> roll his R's? Okay, here we are at Plaza de la Raza. <laughs> wait, uh, do it one more time. Plaza de la Raza. Plaza. Oh, we're going to do the voiceover. Plaza. Ready? Okay, ready? Wait, I thought you were going to be... Okay, one, here we are. two... Okay, here we are at... Plaza de la Raza. <laughs> and what was your name again? My name's Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. Michael. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Marisol. Yeah. So, know. tell me a little bit more about it. Uh, so, we're a nonprofit arts organization. We've been around for about 48 years. Um, we do after-school programming and art, dance, music, theater classes. Um, just this past weekend, we had a Viva la Mujer. Uh, with another organization, Las Fotos Project. Um, I'll show you inside the, uh, the, the gallery that we have. Okay. And also our theater, so you could see they invited over 160 different women artists. Uh, their organization teaches photography to young uh, Latinas who live in Boyle Heights, uh, east side, basically. This artwork is then from from students. Then? Uh, no, these are professional artists. Oh, professional artists. And how long has um, how long has Plaza de la Raza been open? Uh, for forty eight years. Forty eight years. Wow. Think about all the the community and think about the people that have been affected just yeah, by this you place. Just, you just have to come out to one of our events and you can actually see. Like, well. Thank you so much for showing us around, Gabriel. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you.
so cool. That was so cool. That yeah. was. That was. I mean, those people were amazing, super nice, and I, I wish I could put in the video how many people they collaborate with, and the things they do for their community. Um, it just blows blows me away. I can't believe how much has evolved over the years. It's it's incredible how many yeah. opportunities there is now. And I'm gonna link Plaza de la Raza's website down below. So if you're interested in going to an event there, uh, you can find that information there. Thanks again, everyone, for watching Stranger to My City. The next episode is gonna be Griffith Observatory with my friend Nick. For more insights into Los Angeles and into the city, don't forget to subscribe and follow along. Mm -hmm.